Hey guys, everything for iPod here with a new video on Cydia. Uh, that's basically it. Cydia is the app or installer thing that you get when you jailbreak your iPod. It's kind of like the App Store, but has more features and is what you get when you jailbreak it. Here's the icon. It's a little box in a brown icon. You open it up, and here's what it should look like. It does take a while to load up because it has to load all the data and refresh your page and stuff. So you might need to wait a little while. We do have a jailbreaking tutorial because we are getting a bunch of questions on that. Saying, like, how do you jailbreak? How do you jailbreak? We have one for the 2G, which is what most people have. And I might be making a one ge first generation soon, but I don't really know. Gotta do a bunch of extra stuff and sorry for the infrequent videos. We have a bunch of homework and after school stuff and it's getting to be summer, so you know. Okay, here's the iPod and when you open up Cydia, you have your home page your home page. Front page. On the top left, you have About, which gives you information about the creator of City and stuff like that. You also have Reload, which you don't want to do because it'll take forever unless you want to do stuff. This requires Wi-Fi, so you, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you probably won't be able to connect, blah, blah, blah. Up here is News. I don't think anybody really reads that. City Store Products. You've got uh, apps that you can buy, little things that you can buy. Packages, these are kind of like sources, uh, I think sources come with packages, packages come with sources, something like that. Talks to you about the upgrades, of firmware, it's a guide, frequently asked questions, copying files from device, open SSH, that is a, how do I explain it, it's a acronym or a word describing an action in which you connect your computer and your iPod and you upload and download. It's pretty confusing if you don't know how to do it, but OpenSSH is just, uh, if you want to, you can read it. It's useful if you want to do extra hacking things. Up here, or down here, you click sections, and you have a bunch of, bunch of sections. You have anything from app add-ons, like for iCopter, you could, instead of making a helicopter, you could make it a plane or something. Um, I don't know. It really depends on what app you want to do. Development, that's some um, dictionaries. You have a bunch of ebooks, education, entertainment. You have games. You really don't want to get your games from here. They're horrible. And there's not too many. I mean, there's a decent amount, but there's really do not get games from Cydia. Hackulo.us. This is a um a package or source that I got, and it just has specific things that you get with that source. You have keyboards, message uh, keyboards, multimedia stuff like that, ringtones, repositories. I'm not gonna get into that text editors, themes. A bunch of different themes. Okay, if you haven't noticed already, on my home screen and on my lock screen and stuff, there's been different symbols and colors than you normally have, and backgrounds on my home screen. You get those from themes. They are really fun, and is probably the biggest reason why I jailbreak. Second biggest, I would say. And they're I mean, it's just really cool. I'll show you in a second how to use Winterboard, which is the tool that you use to switch themes. You have some toys and wallpapers and stuff like that. Down here you have changes, which are upgrades. or It's kind of like in the App Store when you do update your apps. It's kind of like that. Changes to things. Manage here, you get packages and your sources. Source. The more sources you add, the more things you can get out of Cydia. 
I didn't really add any. I mean, you have storage. I don't use that too much. Uh, it's freezing up. It does happen a lot while using Cydia. Okay, I guess I don't need to show you, but down in the top, bottom right, you also have search. You can, oh, there we go. Search, you can go up to the bar and you can type anything, like Winterboard, which is app you could call. Oh, and it came up with all the Winterboard themes and stuff, so that's not too good. You have to go down to the W and you get how to use this, this add-on tool app, basically. You also have Installer, which is probably the original thing that you got when you first jailbroke it, like, back a uh, year ago or something. That's not as good, I don't think. doesn't load as fast, doesn't have as much, stuff like that. Now when we go into Winterboard right there, see, that's my theme. You have a bunch of, I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of different themes and lock screen signs and wallpapers and stuff like that. Uh, really depends on what you want to do. Oh, forgot that. If you switch your themes, it has to do a whole springboard reload. So it's gonna kind of like. Reload your thing. Why are you talking to yourself? Oh, my God. I'm not talking to myself, I'm making a video for YouTube. Yeah. I just switched my themes by accident. Don't know what happened. But whatever. And you see I have different icons. Stuff like that. Pretty simple to use, you just open up Cydia. Oh, that's going to take forever. You click on the thing that you want. You click uh, in the top right. There's something that says download. Click that. It'll go through a bunch of stuff. And it should be downloaded to wherever it was. If it's an app, it should be your home screen. If it's a uh, add-on to an app, it should be in that app. You'll, you'll see. If it's a theme, it should be in Winterboard or Summerboard or whatever you use. I'll try to show you. Let's look for a cool thing. Cloud not no. Not cloud nine. The George Harrison theme. Nope. The high tech theme. Let's try that. And then the top right it's install. It's Confirm, and then you got this cool screen, which looks like you're doing a bunch of cool stuff. And this is actually referred to as the hack of the iPod. When they say, "Do you hack your iPod?" You're like, "Yeah, I got City." They're like, "What?" It's kind of like that. Usually, it comes up with a bunch of codes. Stuff that nobody understands. But it'll just make a progress bar. And that's basically it. That's all Cydia is. You can also get a few extra things besides themes and stuff like that. But I'm not going to explain all that now. Thanks for watching. See ya.